Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you about what the specialized high schools are, the SHSAT format, and the way cutoff scores and rankings work. So in New York City, there are nine specialized high schools, and they all give students a very strong education through lots of funds. They are also very good for preparing a student for college. The specialized high schools in New York City are Bronx Science High School, the Brooklyn Latin School, Brooklyn Tech High School, LaGuardia High School, HSMSC at City College, High School of American Studies at Lehman College, Queens High School for the Sciences at York College, Staten Island Technical High School, and Stuyvesant High School. All of these high schools except LaGuardia use the SHSAT or the Specialized High School Admissions Test as the only factor for getting in. So the SHSAT is a three hour long exam with 57 questions for ELA and 57 questions for mathematics, in total being 114 questions. So for English language arts, you have nine to 11 revising and editing questions and six reading comprehension passages with six to 10 questions on each. For mathematics, you have 57 questions, which are made up of five graded questions and 52 multiple choice mathematics questions. Be sure to have good pacing on the SHSAT so you can finish all of these questions and do it with good accuracy. There are also 10 field questions for each section, meaning that those 10 questions on each section do not count towards your score on the SHSAT, but you will not know which questions are field questions, so you have to treat every single question like it's going to count. Some strategies for getting into a specialized high school are to start preparing at least five months in advance of the SHSAT and do most of that practice during summer because during summer, hopefully you don't have any responsibilities or you have less responsibilities. So you can use that time to study and review. And that's when you should cover most of the topics and grow the most. At school, you'll have homeworks and classworks and tests, and you won't be able to study as efficiently. Also study at least one hour a day. Make it at least two hours a day during summertime and one hour a day during the school year. Use at least these three books. They are very helpful. It's Kaplan, Tudorverse, and Barron's. Kaplan is very helpful for pre-SHSAT prep. So do that in the summer before seventh, before eighth grade. Do all the homework from a school and review it, since you need a strong foundation to do the exam as well. The exam covers many topics, such as main idea, um, and a bunch of math topics, which you need to know beforehand and learning these things in school and uh, um, mastering them will help you a lot in your preparation for the exam. Do many practice exams, preferably one each week and time yourself accordingly, meaning that you have to set a three hour time limit for each exam and treat it as if it's the actual test. And do not count any field questions like don't put random questions as field questions just grade every single question and review all of the ones that you get wrong and the ones that you get wrong practice that type of question more and master it finally get tutoring help if needed so the way that you get into the school is determined through this there's a cutoff score determined by the DOE after the SHSAT for each specialized high school, meaning that the DOE will make a cutoff score and you need to get at least the cutoff score to gain admission into a school. Your rankings of the school choices matter and it will be taken into consideration if you get into a school or not. We will see that in the example. So here we have Bill and Larry. They both scored a 517 on the SHSAT, and they both took the 2022 SHSAT exam. So these are the cutoffs for the exam, ranked from highest to lowest. 
Bill and Larry may have gotten the same score, but they ranked different schools. Bill ranked Brooklyn Latin School as number one, Stuyvesant High School as number two, and HSMSE at State College as number three. Larry ranked Stuyvesant High School as number one, Brooklyn Tech High School as number two, and Bronx Science High School as number three. They each are going to go to different schools, and this is why. Let's take a look at Bill here. Bill ranked Brooklyn Latin first. So the DOE is going to look and see, hmm, did he get enough for Brooklyn Latin? If he did, which he did, he got a four, he got a 517 and the Brooklyn Latin school's cutoff is 493. He got above the cutoff, meaning that he is going to get into Brooklyn Latin. For Larry, he ranked Stuyvesant High School as number one, Brooklyn Tech as number two, and Bronx High School Science as number three. So for him, the DOE is going to look and see, hmm, did he get enough for Stuyvesant High School? Well, he didn't. He got below the cutoff, which was 561. He got 517, so he won't be getting into Stuyvesant. His first choice. Number two, did he get enough to get into Brooklyn Technical High School? Well, he did. The Brooklyn Technical High School cutoff was 503 and he got 517. So he's getting placed into Brooklyn Tech. So rankings play a big part into which school you get into because you can either get into a really low scoring school or a really high scoring school depending on your score and your rankings. So be sure to rank carefully. Don't just rank um, a low score, a low cutoff score school as a higher option because you think that'll get you in. Because if you attend, I mean, if you um, overachieve and get enough for another school that you might have wanted to get into, you'll regret the decision. So just put your honest choice of school and rankings and it's gonna turn out with the best results that you possibly can and you won't regret anything most of the time you won't regret it so that is all for today thank you for watching this video be sure to like subscribe and share this video with your friends if you found this video useful i will see you in the next video goodbye